How do you know whether a geometric series is convergent or divergent? If a geometric series is convergent, then the ratio should be between 1 and minus 1. That is how we are going to answer 2.1.1. The question is saying that, is this a convergent geometric series? Just for your answer with the necessary calculations. But we have our series right here. Uh, the first term is 1 divided by 5. The second term, 1 divided by 15. And then the third term, 1 divided by 45. So in order to find the common ratio, we say T2 divided by T1. You can also say T3 divided by T2. That will also work. So let's see what we get when we say T2 divided by T1. This will be equals to, so T2, 1 divided by 15. And then everything divided by T1, which is 1 divided by 5. This is equals to 1 divided by 3. And then as we all know, 1 divided by 3 is between minus 1 and 1. So we can conclude and say that this geometric series is indeed convergent, right? It is convergent because the common ratio is in between 1 and minus 1. 2.1.2. 2. Calculate the sum to infinity of this series. Let's go ahead and do that. The sum to infinity by definition is equal to a divided by 1 minus r. The question you might be asking yourself is, what is this a that we're talking about? It is the first term which in our geometric series is 1 divided by 5. So we're going to have 1 divided by 5 divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which we know to be 1 divided by 3 at this point. So we're going to have 1 divided by 3. And then if you put that in your calculator, you should get 3 divided by 10. So this is the sum to infinity of our series. Now, uh, moving on to the more interesting equation, 2.2 and 2.2.1. So an arithmetic and a geometric sequence are combined to form the pattern, which is given by Pn is equal to x, 1 divided by 3, 2x, and so on. The first question says that, let's write down the next two terms of this pattern. So let's just copy it down first. The first term, that is x, and then we have 1 divided by 3. We have 2x, 1 divided by 9, 3x, and 1 divided by 27. So the first term is x, and then the third term is 2x, right? And then the fifth term is 3x. That is our arithmetic sequence. And then on the other hand, we have 1 divided by 3, and then 1 divided by 9, and 1 divided by 27. That is our geometric sequence. So the term that is coming next here in our sequence, it is the term in the arithmetic sequence, right? So after uh, 3x, we should have 4x, right? So in this position here, we're going to have 4x, we're going to have 4x. And then after 4x, we're going to have a term in the geometric sequence, which will be 1 divided by 81. 2.2.2, determine the general term Tn for the odd terms of this pattern. Write down your answer in terms of x. So the odd terms is the arithmetic, right? So we know that we have Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So let's go ahead and find the difference. Uh, that is T2 minus T1. And then in the uh, arithmetic sequence, T1 is x, right? And then T2 is 2x. So we're going to have the difference being equals to 2x minus x, which is just equals to x, right? And then, so now we have d. Uh, what about a? a is the first term. Uh, that is x, right? So we can substitute in our equation. Tn is going to be equals to x plus n minus 1 multiplied by the difference, which is also x. So we're going to have x plus xn minus x, 
right? So Tn is just equals to Xn. That is the general term for the odd terms of this pattern in terms of X. 2.2.3, calculate the value of P26. 26 is an even number right so we must go to our pattern now and see which sequence is it the arithmetic or is it the geometric that lies on the even numbers of our pattern uh, you can see that uh, the arithmetic is on the odd positions right and then the geometric is on the even positions so in position 26 we are going to have uh, a term on the geometric sequence although the term is in position 26 in our geometric sequence in our geometric sequence it will be in position 13 because the other 13 position are filled out by the arithmetic sequence tn is equals to a r to the n minus one right this is how you find uh, the term on a geometric sequence so a is the first term obviously that is one divided by three and then r is also one divided by three the common ratio which we calculated above to the power n minus one so we're looking for position 26 on our sequence which is position 13 on our geometric pattern so we're gonna have 13 minus 1 1 divided by 1 5 9 4 3 2 3 the last question 2.2.4 actually the difficult question if the sum of pn from n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 21 is equal to 33.5 determine the value of x so you have to realize something here uh, you have to realize that the sum of p n is equals to the sum of the even plus the sum of uh, the odd we know fully well that the terms on the odd positions are given by the arithmetic sequence and the terms on the even positions are given by the geometric sequence the sum is 33.5 which is the cost you let me show you something first we're looking for the sum of the first 21 terms so in 21 terms 10 terms will be even and 11 terms will be odd the value of n here will be equals to 10 and the value of n here will be equals to 11 to ultimately give us 21 right so let's just keep that in mind uh, so the sum of the even will be equals to just a reminder sn is equals to a uh, multiplied by r to the n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 this is for a geometric uh, sequence right or geometric series so to say and then the sum for an arithmetic series that is n divided by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d so let me just put this down here because we are going to use it right uh, so the sum of uh, the even uh, so the first term that is one divided by three right and then the ratio we know that it is one divided by three also and then to the power 10 minus one minus one right everything divided by r minus one so we have one divided by three minus one plus the sum of uh the odd so let's just compute that real quick uh, so we're gonna get 33.5 being equals to 0 0.5 plus the sum of uh the odd right so if you take 0 0.5 to the other side you're gonna get 33 being equals to the sum of the terms in the odd positions we're gonna have 33 being equals to n divided by 2 right so that will be 11 divided by 2 multiplied by 2a so we have 2 a is the first term so that is x 
and then plus uh, n11, right? Minus 1 multiplied by x again. So let's multiply out by 2 so that we can get rid of uh, that denominator there. If we do that, we're going to have 66 being equals to 11 multiplied by 2x plus 11x minus x, right? So if we divide both sides by 11, we're going to get 6 being equals to 12x. So x is equals to 1 divided by 2.